U4OS is a lightweight Debian distribution which features the KDE Trinity desktop and now it includes the KDE Plasma version 5. Let us install it and see how it goes. We we'll start with new. We name it Q4. The type is Linux and the version is Debian 64. Next, we put around 1.8. Next, 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 next. 8 gigabyte is okay. And now we start. There is two ISOs, one for 386 and one for 64. I downloaded both, but I will use the 64 now. The 386 is for very for TDE and very old hardware. So we start, enter. We have the display configuration. We put our display. It's around 920 by 1200. Press OK. And now we have this welcome screen. It is not needed for the live, but let us click on desktop profiler just to give us an idea. And here he is talking about three three types. The pure type, which is has nothing minimal. The basic one with common utilities and the third one with browsers and all office suit library office etc and another thing you can choose also a desktop environment you can use tde but but for now these will not install because it's on a live system so we have to install first so this one will always come in when you when you log in and we will use use it after we install so let us close it and we start with the installation it's a calamaris installer very easy to use we put next 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 here i told you there are four three or four types the desktop is the one that is recommended for everyone it has all the features with web browser and office suit the basic has a as i told you common utilities there are some libraries and it is also light the live system is similar to the basic but has f fewer options and the pure is minimal desktop with no applications we can do Erase next. We put the name Q4. We put our small password for virtual box because it's not needed to have a big one. Next, install. And now we come back when it's finished. As you can see, it is KDE5. And you see it is a minimal one they removed many of the components to make it perform very fast if you want we can go and check let's go for the terminal for the console we'll check how much we have it is using around 500 megabytes which is not bad for a for KDE5 that's why they, they they optimized the memory so nothing much it is vanilla plasma they included their uh, software center and if you notice it will it is available here and also in the desktop profiler here they allowed you I will open it again they allow you to install additional DE like Trinity like the others 
and run them alongside Plasma 5. But we'll focus now on installation of applications. Let us open the applications. So if you notice in the repository of Q4OS, there is 53 applications. You know KDE has its own software, which is the Discover Manager, and they included it in, in their installation if you want to install it. So if you want to install the Plasma Discover, and you're given with a Windows-like setup, so you can install it done finish and you can choose whichever browser that you have that you need let's say google chrome chromium mozilla and but now if you have if you want the plasma discover is installed you can open the discover manager so this is the one that is with kde install mousepad I can install it from here but I will install it in TDE so so that's for the discover manager there's a very cool feature here is the look switcher if you want to change between plasma desktop themes you can use this one if you like if you are in the habit of changing themes but I think a vanilla theme is is okay for now so we go, we go out so these are the important ones the install codex you can use this one also if you have problems with your sound turn on desktop effects switch to kick off start menu is for TDE this one uh, this one will change the TDE menu here and set auto login if you don't want to sign in all the time so let us uh, look at uh, TDE or the Trinity desktop environment. So what we have to do is click on desktop profiler. Come here. Press this one. Yes, I really want to install additional DE. Go down to Trinity. Press OK. And here, since we installed the Q4OS Pure, we keep it and we install. A profile has already replaces the previous one yes still apply so and we wait for it to download okay it's finished so we press finish we come back to the welcome screen we don't need it anymore so we have now a TDE and we have a plasma in order to get to TDE, all you have to do is you go to leave, log out. Okay. You go to bottom left, TDE, input a password, and we are in Trinity Desktop. So I change it a little bit so that you will have uh, you don't be scared f with the uh, with the image that you'll see. I've changed the wallpaper. So here, what you can do is you go to appearance background. You can pick whatever you want. Fine tunes GNOME. You hit apply and you hit OK, and you get this beautiful wallpaper so everything you can see here is in Trinity Control Center if you see the TDE components one of them is performance they have tweaks in order to make the memory uh, use less memory and as you can see it, is, it looks like Windows XP a lot with all the settings that they have the same as Windows XP even appearance and themes it is the same as Windows XP if you want to change let's say the icons they have only these these icons I've, I've used here Windows 10 X if you want the 
the old ones I think would you have to press this one so these are this is the old one that you will see when you when you go into TDE so I press here this is Windows 10 X apply so we'll have a, a modern modern look although the menus and everything is Firefox how to install Firefox you have in the system install applications it is the same as the one that we found in plasma but uh, they replaced they replaced the discover plasma with synaptic because synaptic is the one with uh, which we use with the terminal so in order to install anything other than the 54 that are included you need to install synaptic so you double click on it and synaptic is downloading so now we have two methods in order to install applications either use synaptic or you log in and in, you into your plasma and to discover search for your application and download it or you do it here with the synaptic it depends on your taste so here let's say I want to here I can press synaptic manager I press the password let's say I want to install uh, leaf pad search so they have mouse pad so let's install mouse pad mark apply so we have the mouse pad we right click add item to desktop so we have the mouse pad as you can see uh, let us check the RAM free dash M so it's currently 370 megabyte which is which is excellent and of course on the 5.10 kernel as can be seen the Trinity desktop is much like Windows XP so if you have an old machine or you like Windows XP and you you don't have a browser anymore because it's outdated you can give this one a try but uh, but for others it is better to use the plasma one because the plasma version has uh, memory optimization in it and now with this as we as we saw in q4 os they already removed many components to make it also less memory intensive hope you like uh, q4 os and we look forward for them to have something innovative in kde5 the same as they did in kde3